Hi everyone, you're watching Bookwork. Bookwork is all about sharing practical insights from the best non-fiction books in the world. So today's book is Autobiography of Yogi. This book was first published in 1946 by Paramahansa Yogananda. It has been in print for the last 73 years, sold millions of copies and translated into over 50 languages. It's considered as one of the world's most acclaimed spiritual classics. So Yogananda has impacted millions of people from all over the world through his teachings. So this is the book which popularized yoga and meditation in the West. There are many celebrities who have endorsed this book. This includes the famous rock band Beatles, Elvis Presley, many Hollywood actors, George Eastman, the founder of Kodak, uh, US presidents, George Harrison, and most importantly, Steve Jobs. And in India, Rajini Kant, Virat Kohli, etc. Just watch this. Steve Jobs' recent passing was marked by the revelation that since he first discovered it in the 70s, he read Autobiography of a Yogi once a year for the rest of his life. The autobiography was the only book on his iPad, and he had it given to everyone who attended his funeral. One book changed my life. That book is Autobiography of a Yogi, Parahamsa Yoga. This, is, this book is released by YSS. This book changed my whole life. This book has touched the hearts and minds of millions around the globe. It has served as an ambassador for India's ancient signs of yoga. This is one of those life-changing books. It will change your whole perception of the world if you are open-minded. I said open-minded because you know, some 50% of the things mentioned in this book are difficult to believe with our limited understanding of this universe. You know, it will open your eyes to higher realities or alternate realities. There are a lot of miracles and mind over matter stuff in this book. You know, I think whatever we perceive as miracles are the ones that we don't understand. You know, for example, if I say to someone 100 years back, you know, say 100 years back, that you can talk to someone thousands of kilometers away with one small box without any wire, you know, he'll say it's a miracle or, or he'll say you're mad, but today it's possible. And today we talk about virtual reality, which was beyond our imagination 20 years back. So when you read about the superpowers of Himalayan yogis, it may sound a little exaggerated, but, but who are we to judge, right? What is possible and not possible? You know, the book cover itself has some strange power, you know, some vibe, some positive energy. The soul deep gaze of Paramahansa Yogananda. It is like a call to awaken yourself. So let me share three actionable insights from this book. So book work number one, unleash the power within. The book says you must not let your life run in the ordinary way. You know, do something that nobody else has done. Something that will dazzle the world. Show that God's creative principle works inside you. Steve Jobs and Apple is a classic example for this. The book is all about bending realities. If you've read Steve Jobs' biography right, by Walter Isaacson, you'll see it very clearly. Steve Jobs always chased the extraordinary, out-of-the-world products. You know, he wanted to bend reality. He wants to make a dent in the universe. So he pushed his engineers to come up with next to impossible prototypes because Steve believed with utmost focus, faith and determination anything is possible, which is the crux of this book. Steve Jobs literally used to gift this book to people during their birthdays. Now the book says incredible amount of energy are hidden in our brain and we utilize only a tiny fraction of our potential. So the book is all about awakening the power within us you know, through certain practices, of course. So Yogananda's story itself is an inspiring lesson. You know, born in 1893 in Gorakhpur, India, in a very small town, he went to the US. 
at the young age of 27 with little money in his pocket but you know he kind of had a firm resolution to reawaken humanity you know, and and bring the power of yoga and inner transformation to the west so over the next few years he brought his message to packed audiences of thousands in all major cities in the us he is the primary reason for the popularity of yoga and meditation in the united states he is often referred to as the father of yoga in the west so the book work number 1 is to raise your aspirations dream big have big goals you know for greater good for humanity and believe in yourself anything is possible with faith and determination book work number 2 inside out look at the world from inside out the most obvious thing anyone will do after reading this book is meditation and the book explains the power of meditation in in detail in scientific terms so paramahansa yogananda says meditation is the highest form of activity a person can perform it's one of the most natural and rewarding of all human activities uh, the book talks about kriya yoga an advanced form of meditation and you can learn this from you know any uh, kriya yoga centers around the world there are a lot of centers and uh, he claims uh, you know it will change the neural pathways in the brain so today what he mentioned 70 years back is proved in neuroscience that any form of meditation bring favorable positive changes in neural pathways of our brain and there are thousands of research papers and books now on the subject so meditation will change your brain and nervous system you know there is something called neuroplasticity and all right so book work number 2 is to sit and meditate for 30 minutes you know breathe deeply you will emerge relaxed rejuvenated and ready again to reengage with the fast pace of life book work number 3 self control so yogananda says self control is the way to real happiness the individual who, li- who lives all the time in an undisciplined manner is constantly filled with restlessness and worries but he who has learned self control knows the way to real happiness and self discipline you know gives you the power to stick to your decisions and follow them through without changing your mind and it's therefore one of the most important requirements for achieving your goals right and to be successful so this ability it will lead to self confidence self esteem and inner strength and consequently happiness and satisfaction so throughout the book yogananda talks about importance of self discipline to achieve one's goals so removing all temptations and distractions from your environment is a crucial step when working to improve your self discipline so we all have areas of our life right where we could use more discipline and self control so you know start by making a list of the things you want to change and situations which trigger those behaviors so look at your list and choose one thing you know you want to work on and start working on it you know changing habits takes time and building self control it takes time and effort so honor your, your energy and set realistic goals that are achievable so to wrap up book work number 1 unleash the power within by raising your aspirations anything is possible with focus faith and determination book work number 2 inside out connect with your inner self meditate every day book work number 3 self control you know take one behavior at a time do your best to overcome temptations and focus on your goal so arise you know, awake the divine within you i highly recommend this incredible book a must read if you really want if you're brave enough uh, to let your thoughts and ideologies be challenged now the understanding and implementation of the knowledge in this book will change your whole perspective and life so thank you so much for watching stay strong stay safe